Okay, boy, do you want to play hide and seek? <gasps> yes, come here. Oh, no, down, down. Come here. Come here. Sit. Stay. Stay. channel. She's a van lifer and super <laughs> vegan. So she hit me up because she was coming to Colorado and we've been hanging out with Finley here <laughs> and we decided to do a video about what I feed my dog because yeah. I get questions about that. Um, and Sarah's going to put some of this video in one of her vlogs so definitely subscribe to her channel and keep an eye out for that. Yeah. <laughs> Finley can you sit up so you can be in the picture? He's just chilling. No, okay, well. Let's just jump right into your questions you had for me. Okay, okay. Okay. Tell me about why you made the decision to feed Finley a vegan diet and how long ago did you make that decision? Yeah, so this is actually my husband's dog. <laughs> he had him before we met. Um, he was a vegetarian, not Finley. Ethan was a vegetarian. <laughs> and I think he was feeding him like, I don't know what he was feeding him before. Mm -hmm. It wasn't vegan, but um, then Ethan went vegan like immediately when we started dating uh, and then I guess he must have stumbled across like the science shows that well dogs are omnivores they can thrive on a plant-based diet as long as it's like well balanced of course like some dogs might not do well um, I have heard stories from people who tried didn't really work for them um, but Finley's vet approves yeah <laughs> now, what he learned was that a lot of dogs actually have to eat vegetarian food because they have allergies. So his vet asked like why he wanted to feed him a vegan diet and he told him like for ethical reasons. And the vet said that's fine. So how long ago is about three years, which is 21 in dog years. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I and he's living that. his best life. Yeah, <laughs> he's so healthy. We went on a hike with yeah. him. He's got a yeah, nice yeah. shiny coat. <laughs> um, yeah, he takes nice day. big poops. <laughs> Um, he's been to the vet several times, has checkups, everything is good, and yet he loves it. He loves his vegan his dog food. food. Yeah. Was it a hard transition for him? Like, no. He just no. liked the yeah. vegan dog food. Yeah. yeah. My next question was, what do you feed him? Like, oh, okay, his dog it. food, but also snacks. Like, what does he eat on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh, okay. So, he eats. Here, do you want to drag that over? Yeah. <laughs> I okay. I just want to say he's excited. Wow. I just want to say this is my husband's research. This is what he decided to feed him. Um, <laughs> so if it's like really bad quality, blame <laughs> him. <laughs> blame him. I trust him. I trust him. And his vet approves. But um, so it's the brand Natural Balance. Yes, and it has. You can read the ingredients. Well, it's brown rice, oats, barley, and peas. Mm -hmm. But that's just what he gets. I guess his base, and it's also supplemented, um, like with. It's fortified with vitamins and minerals that he needs. Mm -hmm. But then he definitely gets lots of snacks. So he loves anything crunchy. He will eat literally anything mm -hmm. except for lemon. He doesn't like lemon. Yeah. But it's um, crazy. He yeah. eats like I've never seen a dog eat such a wide variety yeah. of he's like lettuce, yeah. Blueberry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cherry. Yeah. But um obviously we don't feed him like onions and garlic or like oh, chocolate. Avocado, or, yeah. Oh, are they not allowed to have avocado? 
Oh really? I'll crop that. Well, we don't out, we don't feed lie. yeah we don't feed him that often, but that's a good that's a good call. I yeah. definitely gave him like a, a spoon with a little bit of avocado on. Yeah, there. I mean it's probably not okay. Yeah. Um. He, he also eats shit that? off the ground. So. <laughs> His favorite <laughs> snacks are geese turds. Geese Loves turds. That. Loves I know. Geese poop. Yeah, my family's dog um, <laughs> loved like. Zeus, Zeus would poop Aww. on this thing, and my family's dogs would just love eating it. And we were like, ah. he loves licking sweat. Yeah, off he people. loves kisses. <laughs> um, he also, it's so funny. Like, we compost, but we don't have a whole lot of food waste because this boy will just eat our scraps. Like, if I'm yeah. cutting up an apple, I won't give him the seeds, but he'll mm -hmm. eat like part of the core. And then he loves kale, kale stones. The crunch, That's so funny. which we don't give them a lot because dogs are omnivores. Their digestive system is not like ours. They can't handle like an overload of fiber. Mm -hmm. So we try to limit like how many vegetable snacks he gets because we don't mm -hmm. want to give him too much fiber. But yeah, he loves fruits and veggies. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, he looks so cute. people who think feeding a dog a vegan diet is like animal abuse or it's cruel. Oh my goodness. Okay. Like that. So I because they should have a right. choice. You know, people are like, they should have a choice and they want to. So it's animal abuse. Yeah. So for one, I would say they're misinformed about what the science says about nutrition and dogs. Cause mm -hmm. there is, a good amount of evidence that dogs can do well on a vegan diet. Can. Mm -hmm. I understand like certain dogs might not. Um, mm -hmm. But as far as like abuse, it's like. <laughs> so I, I don't think it is nutritionally abusing my dog. Like mm -hmm. I think he's healthy and he'll be fine. But even if it were the case that they might not thrive on a vegan diet, it's like, <laughs> how can you justify taking the lives of like all these other animals to feed your dog when they can, in this case, they can do well. Mm -hmm. um, and with cats, I mean, that's like a different story perhaps, but like, mm -hmm. yeah, I just think it's ridiculous when they jump immediately to blaming people for abusing their animal when it's like, but what about all the animals that they're feeding their animals? And like, mm -hmm. does that not count as abuse? I, mean, I know, exactly. So it is kind of like, with other animals, like cats, for example, it's more of a gray area because th there isn't a lot of evidence that they can do well on mm -hmm. a vegan diet. But I don't want to speak too much about this because I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I don't have, you don't have a cat, so you haven't. I don't have a cat, so yeah. Of research with yeah. it. Yeah, but yeah, I remember my ex's dog was vegan, and people would tell her like it's abuse because they should have a choice, and I always thought like. When we have an animal under our care, there are so many choices we make for them. Like, right. for example, your dog might want to rip up your couch, 
but you don't let them rip out your couch and nobody's gonna say that that's abusive mm -hmm. because even though you're, you are probably gonna give them like another toy that they can rip up, they might not love it as much, but you're still not giving them that choice because there's like a practical reason not to. And so that's how I view it. I view it the same for mm -hmm. like feeding a dog who, yeah, like she yeah. said, most dogs. Plus people, eaten. people act like you're forcing this diet upon your dog, but like, you're you're not giving them a choice. You're like picking a dog Either way. You're giving them that food. You're not like putting out a platter of different options and letting them chew. Like mm -hmm. that's not how it yeah. works. Like, yeah. Either way, you're yeah. making a choice right. for your pet right, or right. an animal. Yeah. And I guess to add to that, like I would say, I don't judge people for feeding their cats meat, just because like. If an animal is in your care, you do want to provide them with like the best, mm -hmm. what you feel is like the most nutritionally adequate diet. Um, but I also wouldn't judge someone for feeding their cat a vegan diet if they're also monitoring them well and taking them, mm -hmm. them to the vet for checkups and like their vet is approves of the food that they, because I know some cat foods are fortified with like taurine, taurine, taurine yeah. and all the um, nutrients they need. Um, so. Like, I think people shouldn't be so quick to, like, freak out on people for feeding their cats vegan, especially considering the animals that you're, all of the mm -hmm. animals that you're sparing. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Like, I wouldn't judge somebody for wanting to, or trying their best to take care of their animal and feeling like it's maybe a necessity if it's a cat to feed some level of animal products to them, but I also wouldn't judge someone on the other end who's like trying their best to because like it's you know debatable I guess whether or not it's abuse to try like it might be it might not work out for cats for some cats but what is very undebatable if you look into it is that all of the animals going into animal products 100% is animal abuse there's behind right. it yes. so like it is kind of like with cats I think it is kind of this hard difficult ethical line mm -hmm. where like either way you're you might mm -hmm. be doing i don't know much about cats i don't know if it can That's, be i just avoid these ethical dilemmas by, by not, not having, having cats, cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but for dogs it's different like for right. dogs yeah. the guinness world record longest living dog was vegan mm -hmm. and they're to my understanding like i've met so many vegan dogs who are also very healthy mm -hmm. and yeah to my understanding it's pretty easy for most dogs that are relatively healthy beforehand to transition. I did meet like a couple dogs who had special needs at a vegan sanctuary where they had seizures and they the vet said they had a necessity for animal products and I, I understand then why you wouldn't, mm -hmm. you know, like to me necessity justifies a lot of things that are inherently immoral mm -hmm. that you wouldn't naturally do. Like if you're trying to defend yourself in a self-defense uh, like situation and you think that your life is at risk there's probably a lot of things you would do in those situations that outside of that context of necessity wouldn't be justifiable mm -hmm. or ethical so if there's a necessity for your animal whether that's a dog who has special needs or maybe a cat again we don't i don't think either of us know that much about mm -hmm. cats but maybe a cat then i feel like i would understand that yeah definitely yeah oh i have one more thing to add mm -hmm. okay i one more snack that we give Finley that he <laughs> really, really loves. We give him dental chews, so I'll just grab oh, those so you can see what brand neat. they are. Yes, they are. Oh, wow. He loves them. Oh my gosh, he's oh, hard. Boy. <laughs> oh, boy, do you want one? So, oh, sit. Okay, mm -hmm. now he's <laughs> So this is the brand. I don't know if it's Whimsies. Whimsies. Whimsies, and oh. he loves, loves them. What are they made out of? Let's see. They are made out of potato starch, glycerin, yeast, other shit, alfalfa extract, like whatever. Um, here, let's see if this is not gonna, there's no way they're gonna be able to see. <laughs> All the ingredients. Well, okay. you can just Google it, okay? <laughs> so, boy, that. would you like a dental chew? Oh, yeah. Okay, boy. Okay, let's turn around. So your cute face isn't. Oh no 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 no! He's come here, come here, come here. No. Oh, he's been sick. Good job. Stay. Okay, which one would you like? Which one? You want? You want that one? Oh, okay. Not that one either. 
All right, he's like, Aww. bye. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, thank you so much for watching. Definitely be sure to subscribe to Sarah's channel and stay tuned for next week. <laughs> Bye. Yo, I when me eat them, I wonder when me eat When me tell them, say me not eat no fish, no, no meat now. I when me eat them, I wonder when me yum. When me tell them, say that I'm a vegan man. I when me eat them, I wonder when me eat.